Well, hello there. Who are you? I am the first life-size humanoid robot that anyone can 3D print and animate. I was built for research in human-robot interaction. I participate in different events where I create awareness about robotics. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Kaisu. Nice to meet you too, Kaisu. You're a fascinating looking creature. Um, how people have reacted to you? People have been curious about me. Some people have been scared of me, but some like me a lot, especially children are fond of me. Most of the people I have met have liked my design and the fact that I do not remind a human too much. The field of robotics has developed during recent years thanks to advancements in hardware and software. The development has been extremely fast in the field of traffic. Many people think that we will see robot cars in the streets during the next five years. This is Marilyn. It is a robot car which VTT is building for winter use and challenging weather conditions. No, ne nyt näkyy oikealla puolella. 0.84 metriä. Se varmaankin on, eli se näyttää sen tuohon ihan auton. Joo. Mä voin käydä kävelemässä, niin käypäs, käypäs kävelemässä. Yksinkertaisimmillaan automaattia aiminen vaatii sen, että auto pysyy kaistalla ja sitten se, että se säätää nopeutonsa edellä menevien mukaan. Se on ihan yksinkertaisin automaattia ajoa. Ja nyt jos puhutaan tämmöisestä niin oikean, oikeasta robottiautosta, niin se ensimmäinen edellytys sille on, että se osaa suunnitella sen reittinsä. Ja toinen edellytys on sille, että se osaa noudattaa sitä reittiä, että se pysyy siellä, osaa vaihtaa kaistaa. Tunnistaa liikennevalot, osaa pysähtyä siihen, tunnistaa suojat, että näkee, onko sinne tulossa ihmisiä. So robotic cars can do many things like that. What can you do? I can speak several languages, move my eyes, mouth, head and arms to create gestures. And here we have a service robot. It can move from place to another and speak beforehand programmed sentences and for example serve you a coffee, at least in the future, for now. It is impossible for it to do anything but move in the university's second floor. This kind of robot moving from A to B is quite easy. The robot is using map and anchor points to move around. But moving its hands is super difficult. And there is no robots that can think about on their own or do anything without humans guidance. This is composite manufacturing robot. It does not have a name. Most of the industry robots have end. But it is a good example of new wave industry robots. They are getting smaller and smaller all the time and they are designed to decrease labor costs. For example, composite manufacturing is very labor intensive and this robot can replace the work made by hand. The robot does what it is programmed to do. This one is designed to do simple parts, but it can also do complex components if the engineer tells so. So this robot does not have any kind of artificial intelligence. 
Some people think that industry robots are not robots at all, but the others think that they are an important step for development of service robots and artificial intelligence. Okay, wait for a second. So we are having like fluent co uh, conversation here right now, but you are saying you're not intelligent. Really? Even though it might seem that I can think, that is not true. All my behaviors are pre-programmed. There is no general artificial intelligence. And it is impossible to say when there will be. Okay, it was nice to meet you. Thank you for an interview. Take care, Keizu. Goodbye.